you know, sometimes you're just not in a place in your life where you're ready for a relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, where do you find this? You yeah, know, just absolutely. quiet, safe place to be with another person and mm-hmm. not have to worry about all the other stuff. You know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I cuddle with my kids, right? Um, but we just don't cuddle as adults anymore. Although talking to people, I hear people say, I used to cuddle up with people all the time when I was in college and we didn't think anything about it. I'm like, you need to come to a cuddle party. I would love to experience all the comforts and discomforts of, of a cuddle party. I, my ex is jealous that I'm going. He said, wow, I can handle you moving on and having sexual relationships with people, but the idea of you going and just cuddling is weirdly threatening. I really want to see us become less afraid of touch. And some of my clients would have extremely profound experiences. They would leave crying in tears just from cuddling and talking with a stranger for a little while. I'm giving them that same sense of comfort that their mother gave them when they were little and they were falling asleep you know, at nap time. They say I'm monetizing love and I'm worse than a prostitute because what I'm offering is more intimate than sex. I'm so happy that and proud to say that Madison has a snuggle house. And it instantly went national, right out of the chute. Today's show, you know, it's featuring Lonnie from our snuggle house. Make eye contact with people on the street, shake their hands, you know, give people hugs. Can I give you a real hug? Not this stupid little A-frame hug, but a real hug.